Hello. How are Hi. you doing? Good. Are you? Do you know this lady back here in the accident, or? I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, have a nice day, sir. All right. Thank you. Who was the gentleman who was standing here? I don't answer questions. Is, is there a reason why? I don't answer questions. Do you have a nice day? Man? You too. What are, what are we filming here for? I don't answer questions. Okay. What's your name again? Oh, I don't answer questions. All right. You have a good day. Thanks. Phone number? I don't answer questions. Okay. Is there anybody here that can answer questions? Okay. Don't answer questions. Okay. I'm not sure how to respond to that, sir. I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions? That's correct. What's the reason for that? I don't answer questions. So I thought we'd take this opportunity to go over what I don't answer questions means. Also, when and how to use it. First off, I don't answer questions means exactly what it says. It means you shouldn't answer any questions. Zero, not one, nada, zilch. And here's why. Your answers could be incriminating without you even knowing it. In fact, that's exactly what they're hoping for, is for you to make a mistake so they can give you a field sobriety test, search your vehicle, or worse. So don't be stupid. Keep your mouth shut, and don't stick your foot in your mouth. And don't be afraid to use those words. They're okay to use. It's the law. Your forefathers died to give you that right. So let's not forget that and let it go to waste. They wrote it into our Bill of Rights. It's the Fifth Amendment, your right to remain silent. Remember that. The Fifth Amendment states, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself. Do you know what that means? That means you don't have to say anything to anybody, especially the law, for any reason if you don't want to. That's what people mean in court whenever they say, I plead the fifth. By using those four little words, I don't answer questions, you're informing that officer that you know your rights and you're not afraid to exercise them. You're also informing him that he needs to stop this line of questioning immediately. But keep in mind, and this is very important, you should videotape your encounter with police. If you don't, it's your word against theirs, and we all know how that goes.